Okay, I've got my 180 rows for my first square. I thought I'd show you how I plan on casting off. Now, I'm going to bring all my needles to the forward hold position. Now, this board is a half inch by an inch. I'm setting it up for the inch up against the very back of my bed between the knobs and the thing. And the, yeah. Setting it up a half inch is vertical. Then I have enough yarn laid out to lay it across the bed with all the latches open. All my latches are open. Now I'm holding this yarn tight because what I want to do, I'm going to take my yardstick and push it, push all the needles back so it closes all the latches. Just enough to close the latch. And I'm holding the yarn so it doesn't go wonky on me. Okay, now all the latches are closed and the yarn is inside the latches. So I'm going to pull a little bit taut. Now at this point you want to make sure you have enough yarn so you have absolutely no tension on that row. Got my half inch block. Now this last row I want it longer. I want the needle, the stitches longer. So I have a half my half inch block and I'm just manually stitching each one of these stitches. Because I'm going to do a crochet cast off and I want to do it with a larger stitch. You probably could use, since I'm using key plate two, you could probably use key plate four. But if you're doing like a key plate three or four, you would need something to make it longer. And this makes them all a little bit elongated. Now, what I'm going to do at that point, I am going to locate my latch tool and I will just do a crochet cast off starting at this line. I want to make sure that I end on my right hand side. And to do the cast off, let's come on in. I'm not going to film the whole thing, that would, that would get rather boring after a fashion. I do want to get as close as I can so you can see at least me do a couple of them. Oh, come on, I'm going to get close. There we go. See if it'll let me. Alright, so I'm going to take this. Now you can do it one of two ways. You can take it and pick it up and maneuver it past the latch like that and then knit through. Pick it up, move it past the latch and knit through. Another way is to pull these all forward all the way across and then just grab the, work, the stitch and pull it through. It's really a matter of preference depends on the wound I'm in as to which one I do, because I do it both ways. Now, if you forget to, if you pull it in and you forget to take it off the needle, no biggie, just move it past the needle. Take it off the needle, 
Now, if you don't want these to, these needles to be going anywhere while you're messing with them, I set my block there. And I have a yardstick that I broke into three pieces. See? Works very good. See, I put it back behind my block. And that holds it quite nicely. And I'll just move these down as I go. See, now I can push it and it won't slide backwards on me. Now, where, where, what I just realized, where I have my cast on comb, I have a longer cast on comb than I really need. And I have it beside my desk. And while I'm not, you see over here in the corner, it's resting on the desk. I want to see if that's going to hold it up when I get it the other end. Okay, well, that'll prove interesting. Lift it up and over, up and over, up, over, and through. Sometimes it cooperates, sometimes it don't. You just have to work at it. Now, if you don't like doing it this way, Another way you can do it, lose my break, my board. Push those back so no longer need them. And just knit it through. Manipulating the stitch. Forward and back. There, it's not resting on there too well. Forward and back. Personally, I like to put my short one here. Hold that in place there. Okay. And I take my half inch. It's on the one inch side. That way I can just move this as I need to. And I'm, I'm pulling a little bit on the work down here where my hand is. And that's putting it enough pressure to keep my board resting on my desk. Now if you don't have that, what you could do is take an elastic, hook it around the end of the if you make a cast on comb this long and just hook it on one of those needles that you're not using. And just cast off. Now what I plan on doing when I get this cast off, I'm going to leave one stitch on. I'm going to leave one stitch live. Bring that down here to where I started earlier and cast and Rehang 90 stitches. And this time I'm going to make sure I rehang 90 stitches. I should because I have 180 rows and I'm going to hang two rows to one stitch. Meaning I'll hang a stitch, skip a row, hang a stitch. And I'm also going to do, I'm going to hang the whole stitch, not just one side. Slide my board down. Now I am putting a little forward pressure on it. That keeps the, the bar forward a little bit. Like I said, it's resting on my desk. I'm thinking that's going to be an advantage here. Wouldn't be if I was knitting, but I've got about a two inch gap between my knitting machine and my, my computer desk. Cameraman, so I need 
oopsies are my fault. Keep an eye on my rod. Make sure it doesn't slip off, off the desk because then it'll go really weird. Now when I get close, I'm going to, I'm holding the, the bar itself to give it some tension to relieve some of the stress it's on, under. No, I could use the ruler that I didn't cut, but I wouldn't have, then I'd only have to slide the brand though my blue block. Get them at Lowe's. You could get them, you could buy them at Walmart. They're a little bit flimsier than the ones you get at Lowe's. <laughs> and believe it or not, the ones at Lowe's, last time I put, bought one was 67 cents. The one at Walmart was 250. position I'm sitting in is making this difficult, so bear with me while I move a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to make a big loop with that one because I want to be able to take my cast on comb off without worrying about losing my thread. Yeah, they're sharp. Oh, that's the problem. I forgot I had four ounces of weight on that thing. See, that's why I made a big loop. <laughs> so I wouldn't lose it. I'm going to take the weights off the other end. I wouldn't think four ounces was a lot, but if I move the weight that I've got in the center portion. Okay. Okay, so that is off. 